Hi there, I'm Birgit O'Connor and welcome to my studio. So what I wanted to do is just give you an idea of a couple things that I added to my Just for Fun Kids course. It's actually not really kids, it can be, but it's also for uh, the mid-level artist actually the people that are just starting out wanting to have fun because I do have multiple memberships that I've been creating and that's because so many people are in different levels but I'm really excited about this one and I just posted it to my group and uh, I just wanted to show you because breaking this down into such a simple form like this 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 beautiful little fish what's interesting is that we've got this wonderful simple design and what you're doing is working with complementary colors like you can see behind me I have all different kinds of paintings but we're trying to make it very very simple in this particular course and uh, let's see so basically what that was and what I talk about in this one, which is just for fun, is taking, let's say, our orange complementary color and our blue down here and how side by side they can be more vibrant. And then on this one, I did this with my granddaughter. And the reason why I thought it was really fun, and now you might look, might look at this and going, oh, you know, it's not perfect and, and all that. But that wasn't the point of this. What was interesting is taking a lionfish, which I thought which was pretty complicated, breaking it down, making the fins, doing negative painting. So without them even knowing it, you're learning skills. Like I said, with the other fish, you're learning more about the um, complementary colors without feeling intimidated. And then here you're actually working with some negative painting and getting those fins in and working with brush strokes. Because if you notice right here, those brush strokes, if we just applied the same amount of pressure, it would be very flat and straight. Here we're actually pressing harder and lifting and changing the, the look of the stroke plus adding the eye and uh, just having fun with it. Now I'm going to show you, let's see what I have here. There we go. This is my actual website and I have lots of courses and that's usually what I do. But then also this other option, which is the um, just for fun down here where it right there. That is what I'm talking about. And this is something that I've been working on, which is completely different. And that is for more of the mid-level artist. And we just had a meeting today. And something I found that was absolutely fascinating is we were talking about a very simple brushstroke. And one of the students kept saying, why do I get a blob on it? And I thought, well, I needed to see what she was doing. And I can show you that in a second, actually. I was gonna save that for another uh, broadcast, but I can go ahead and just um, show you. So let's take just a quick look at what I was showing you before, my um, membership option here. This is the kids one. It's not really kids. I started off with kids, but you really learn a lot of skills. And then here inside, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. You're playing with brush strokes, and there's so much in here. And uh, just something I wanted you to see, especially since I was just applying something into this particular uh, course right there. So now I'm going to talk about of this, this one right here for just a second, if you're even interested, but I'll show it to you. So this is taking my combination of watercolor and motion and watercolor essentials and painting white or painting flowers is in here. There's two different membership levels, but that wasn't really why I wanted to talk to you today. I wanted to show you the complementary colors and I think I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a simple little brush stroke because like I said, I thought that was absolutely fascinating. So I just need to switch my camera here there we go. And I just have to walk all the way over a whole two feet and bring my mic over there. Okay, so what happened here? Now, what's interesting with the Just for Fun and that mid-level membership is that we're talking about different papers, different brushstrokes, how to save paintings, all sorts of things. And here I'm using student grade paper. Um, 
and we can create some amazing uh, paintings on it. But basically what was happening is it all had to do with the amount of pressure and amount of water that she had on the paper. So let's see if I can just find something really simple here, a blank piece of paper there. And you can also see the amount of water and color that I have in my brush and palette here. So that's another thing that I plan on perhaps dropping in and talking to you about is a lot of people have paintings that are too dry and you know, I can absolutely go on. But basically let's talk about that brush stroke. You can see how I'm bringing my color in and mixing it up like that. I'm loading my brush. And what was happening, she was making little flowers, which was wonderful. And she'd go like this and out to the side, which I thought was a great, simple way of doing it. And she couldn't understand why we ended up with puddles all over here. Now, now I didn't really recreate the problem, maybe right here, because there is a lot of water right there. And we want more of an even layer of water as we go out. Now let's say you have a pool of water in an area. There's a few, few issues with it. So to eliminate that problem, all you need to do is just move it around and even out the amount of water on the surface. It's really simple. Just rock it back and forth, maybe dry off your brush. And if you have too much water, clean it off and then just wick up the additional water from all those little pools. That's just one way to do it. And the reason why this is happening is if you come in and if you go ahead and you hold your brush here, the water's continuing to run off the tip and you go like that, that's too much water. So to avoid that, if you press and lift like that, you have an even stroke and the water on the surface is more even. It's a very simple thing that I just wanted to show you. Nothing fancy, just press and lift, play with your strokes because we're doing this right now in my mid-level membership. And let's see, let me go back over here. And I thought it would be helpful for you too and keep it really simple. So let's go back, oops, I just have to change this and get back. So you can see me. All right. And I have some other courses that will be coming up soon. Um, I just was taking a break while I was, uh, well, not really a break. We were actually doing more in session six week courses. But now what I'm going to be doing coming up is I'll be preparing for more six week sessions after since we just launched our mid level membership here. OK. So I think that's probably enough for you today. I don't know if we have any um, questions or anything because it was such a last minute thing. I didn't give anybody warning and I thought I'd surprise you. Surprised me. Okay, bye everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.